you are watching Melody Lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time hey guys it's Melody Lane I'm gonna be using some heat and bond today so I'm using the ultra hold they also have the light hold this is sewable so you can sew after you use this one this one says do not sew it's for ironing purposes only and I don't plan on sewing this I'm making a Hello Kitty doll so I'm gonna try to do the whole thing without sewing at all and we're gonna use heat and bond I'll put a link below in the description to the Thermal Web website where you can buy Heat and Bond. You can also find it at Joann's or on Amazon. So I've never used this on felt before, but we're going to give it a try. And then we're going to cut it out in the Cricut Maker. And you can see that in another video. I'll put a card for that video up here in the corner of the video, somewhere around here. It'll pop up and be the video where I complete the Hello Kitty. But today we're just going to use Heat and Bond. And I'm going to show you how. I'm going to use my Cricut Easy Press today. Let me turn this on. And I'm going to set the temperature up to 305. The timer, we really don't need on too much I just read the directions for this and it says to place on for only two seconds well, let's do four seconds so we're gonna let this heat up while we open this this comes in smaller packages or you can get a big roll you can see one side is paper and one side has a shiny rough edging this is the adhesive so I want to make sure I cut enough to cover my, my felt I'm using it on, but I don't want it to go over my felt. You want it to be just under the size. I'm just going to cut this off. My easy press is ready. Okay, I turned it over just to make sure there's nothing coming out the edges and that it all fits on there. Okay, and it says just to hit for two seconds. So I'm gonna start up here in this corner. Hit this, one, two. Okay. Let's hit this one, one, two. One, two, and one, two. Okay. Ooh, that's hot. Be careful. It says let cool. So now we're going to take the paper off to cut it on the Cricut. You have to just grab some. Pull that off. And this is not sticky. And then we're going to put it on the pink mat. As you can see, I've been cutting on this mat. I'm gonna make sure I get it in the corner. And it goes on smoothly. And spread it out. Okay, now we're ready to cut. Now I'm gonna come back after it's cut and iron it on to my project. Okay, the heat press is ready. And I'm not sure I can get it all in one. So I'm gonna do the top half, start the timer, put a little pressure on it. Okay, move that up a little. And we're gonna go down here. Oh, start the timer. Okay, so she is all set. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one more time on the other side, just to be safe. The directions on the heat and bond say medium heat for eight seconds, so I put it on 305, and it said to add a few seconds for thicker material. And because I'm using felt, I added three seconds. And that's how you use the heat and bond 
It's really simple and easy to use with the new Cricut Easy Press. If you missed the video of me making the full Hello Kitty doll, I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. And here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Ours designs, Terry, Bridget, Ashley, Lori, Sheila, Robert, Sandy, Robin, Ellen, Cindy, Vivian, Stacy, Vivian, Tamika, Joy, Nancy, Selena, Bibi, Shannon, Rhonda, Trish, Lynn, Donna, Donna, Jeannie, Vindy, Audrey, Carolyn, Marla, Diane, Marilyn, Christy, Jeannie, Juanita, Carolyn, Annette, Jody, Tammy, Jean, Lydia, Kim, Ebony, Ashruta, Diane, Linda, Claudia, Marjorie, Charlotte, Audra, and Diane. Thanks, guys.